Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's morning. <laughs> this is this is my kitty. <laughs> this is Itsy. I found her out in the woods about um, maybe 12 years ago when I was living up in the hills. And my daughter has been taking care of him, her, since I moved in so many different places. And, uh, but uh, she's back right now, and she's just like she's never been gone. She knows exactly where to scratch and where to prick my skin and when to fuss at me. Nothing's changed. Oh, this is Fizz and Mima. I just got up this morning. I got up this morning and I did my routine, right? Feet on the ground. I mean, feet, feet on the floor. And I said, I know what day it is. I know my name. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, so I went into the bathroom, you know, and looked in the mirror and did my smile routine. And then I said, oh, my. I'm so glad these freckles don't hurt. <laughs> You know, as you get older, you start hurting everywhere. <laughs> so I'm, we're really blessed our wrinkles don't hurt. I looked in there this morning and said, oh my goodness gracious, I should really be hurting. <laughs> but I wasn't. I wasn't hurting. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's one of the reasons that uh, we don't see very well, because the older we get, we don't see how really bad we look. <laughs> And then we lose our hearing a little bit, and that's to make sure that we don't hear anything that we've already heard. Don't want to have to listen to <laughs> until they bring it, our attention to it. You know, like, Mima. <laughs> oh, we are blessed to be alive. Are we blessed to be alive? Oh, my goodness. And we're so special. Because we're still kicking. I noticed on Facebook the other day that some of my classmates didn't make it to be as old as me. And I'm going, oh my, that's really, I mean, that's slimming out. There was 213 graduated in my class. 200 of them were from the Air Force Base. <laughs> no, not really. But most of them were from the Air Force Base until they built a, built a new school in, uh, in, uh, school. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm, evidently I don't either. <laughs> no, 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 no. So this morning I have two coffee pots up. One coffee pot won't work because I don't have any little pods. The other one will work with one of these plastic pots that you put coffee in, but now it don't work. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, I've got to get me some new pods. I said, okay. And I, you know, I like, not those fancy pods. I just want those just breakfast coffees. You know, the real good coffee you have in the morning. I may have to convert to Coca-Cola or tea or something. I'll make it though until payday, I'm sure. It's only uh, sometime next week, I think. Yeah, next week. But my daughter did surprise me. She come by and she had Itsy in her little carrying case, my little kitty cat here. And uh, so I've been combing her and she's already settled in. <laughs> she's been gone several years, but maybe. Uh, a little over two and a half years, but she's she's back in, back in the rhythm rhythm of life. I've got to pronunciate my words. <laughs> I was listening to one of my videos and I said, "Oh, I got to put that on caption. I can't even understand what I'm talking about." Because <laughs> you know, if you comment on a video, I don't remember what that video is about. <laughs> I try to put information in the description. I try to, you know, remember by the title and I'm saying, I 
can't remember my title because sometimes the title, I don't even know what that was supposed to mean. <laughs> you know, at the time I make a title for a video, I'm thinking this video is going to be about so-and-so or so-and-so. <laughs> And when I get through, I said, let me, I didn't say anything about that so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a, a non-project kind of uh, video this morning. And I uh, guess you saw that little boring one where I was trying to hold the needle and do the sewing. It's very, very difficult the older I get to do that kind of work. I used to love to embroidery and make pillowcases and oh just anything put them on jeans well my baby sister loved to do that she when she was looks when she was i guess 13 or 14 i don't think there was a pair of jeans or overalls she didn't wear that weren't embroidery to herself yeah very talented the sisters i have very talented it's it's so funny having itsy in the house because she plays all the time She's an old dog, but she still just plays. There was a piece of yarn on the on the um, floor here, and she played with that, I know, a good 10 minutes. Jumping that thread, went up her in the heels when she was running wild. <laughs> it only came in to refreshing herself <laughs> or to bring me dead something. She would, she would kill little, old sp little tiny snakes. <laughs> And those little yellow zippers, you know, uh, she loved to catch, she loved to play with them. And chipmunks, oh my gosh. You know, the chipmunks are so bad where I live that if you parked your car the next morning, you may not have any wiring. <laughs> they were bad. So Itsy had a good time. Sometimes she'd bring them and put them in the bathtub. Yeah, that little cat would bring all those... <laughs> Put them in the bathtub. Well, they can't get out. So she just played with them. She killed them all, I think. Over time, they just wore out and said, I give up, Uncle. Bring me bring me home. You know, let me die now. But she'd go out there in the woods. Hit them. Yeah. Neighbors were real happy about it. <laughs> I had to take a snapshot of all of them in the bathtub. I said, this is breaking my heart because they're so cute. And here I was feeding those chipmunks, not knowing they were out there eating everybody's wiring out of their cars. Some of them, they would, <laughs> what guy? He, he put lights everywhere out there in the woods, right? He run lights out to that tree because he walked out there at night and smoked a cigarette or built him a fire or whatever. Then he had run some power over here to his little shed where, He'd sit in front of his little chair on a broke, I mean, sit on his little broken chair. The lights, you know, he just flipped the switch and the lights come on. <laughs> it was horrible. I mean, this is horrible, horrible. So, <laughs> so they were, I guess they were all at the coffee shop. There was one guy that lived down across from the community center and everybody went and had coffee at his house, all the, all the men. And, uh, they were all talking about these chipmunks. He says, yeah, they they just, my daughter came for the weekend, and over the weekend they ate all the powering out, all the electrical things out of her car, and said she wasn't coming back. <laughs> and the other guy was, you know, they were all sharing stories about, oh, my shed, you know, I put wiring out there so I can use my drill, blah, blah, blah. And so this guy says, well, they got my life. They got my life. They ate everything that was my life. And, of course, that got their attention. And he said, you know, I've been putting wiring out there to the boat, out there to the boat slit, out there to the, my shed, and, you know, telling all the things he had done with his wiring. And he was lit up like a Christmas tree. Out there in the woods. I'm glad he didn't go naked or we'd probably all just sit on our porches and watch. But anyway. <laughs> he said, those little farmers came up into my house. I know they must have had a whole bunch of shotguns because they held me hostage as they ate my wiring. <laughs> One of the guys says, 
I think the only thing that kept you hostage was that whiskey you had in your hand. And he says, you know, I think they wanted some. That's the way guys are. <laughs> I just don't see us talking like that, girls, do we? Mm -mm. I feel maybe we do. We just, we just don't remember talking like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Itsy was our hero. <laughs> At least mine. It never, I, the never did bother my home electric or my car or the neighbor next door. I think Itsy pretty well, you know, told him you're not gonna live here anymore. You go move down the hill because we're up on top of the hill. But yeah, if there was any in our territory, she's gonna, she's going to scare them off or put them in the bathtub. Yeah, that's the penalty for being alive and being a chipmunk up there on the mountain with visit me, Mon Itsy. New, new, new. Well, Connor was up there, and uh, of course, Clyde. We were all up there in our little place. And <laughs> yeah, don't be missing. I had a friend, Susie, come up to see me, her and her husband. And we were having coffee out on the porch. I had a porch about two sides of my house and uh, I call it my cottage and uh, we were sitting there drinking coffee talking and talking reading the Bible I don't know what we were doing and she says oh Barbara look look I'm looking out there in the woods because I'm right the house the woods aren't I mean it's just woods all around us didn't nearly have to mow <laughs> she says look 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 I think it's a lion. No, it's a leopard. No. <laughs> she says, oh, it must be a cougar or something or a wild bobcat. <laughs> I'm laughing my head off because it was the neighbor's cat. <laughs> it was a big cat. But it's the way he was laying on a dead tree, you know, laid down tree where it fell. And the cat was laying on it like this. You know, like it was king. <laughs> and to her, it looked huge. <laughs> and the way it was sprawled out with his tail. <laughs> we talk about that to this day. To this day. She says, yeah, remember that bobcat? I said, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, the cats up there were either really big or really skinny. And, you know, according to where they lived up there in the hills. But, yeah, that was Gary and Janice's cat. Big, big cat. Big cat, but not as big as a cook or a bobcat. Although Susie thought it was. <laughs> I got to tell you another story about Susie. It was so funny. Uh, Susie and Chuck, they're just... Uh, <laughs> Susie and Chuck were... Uh, now, they're real, uh, they're real Christians like us, you know. Christians and uh, they go to church every Sunday and you know always doing prayer she's a prayer warrior and all that and one day she said I was sitting in church and for a change I was sitting behind her husband instead of in the row where her husband was sitting front row where she usually sat and she was in the back you know the chair behind beach well you know and she looked at her husband's shirt, and then she looked at her husband's shirt, and she looked at her husband's shirt a little closer, and all of a sudden she started bellering right in the middle of church. And the pastor says, Susie, you got something you want to say? And she said, oh no, so she grabbed her bag and left, left the sanctuary and left Chuck sitting there not knowing what was going on. So Chuck got up to go see what was going on. And Susie says, you know, as many times as I've ironed that shirt for you and put and you put wore that shirt that that shirt to church, there's naked women all over it. <laughs> and it was. She he never wore that shirt again. <laughs> but she had never noticed what was printed on that shirt. Now that that's a true story. <laughs> Two. 
Oh, uh, Susie and Chuck's been a lot of fun. They're they're down in Florida now. And uh, one day, when I went in the hospital one time, uh, well, anyway, uh, when I come home, my whole house was decorated. It was looked like a mansion. It was so beautiful. And Ch Susie had done that for me. She'd put up drapes and matching curtains and bedroom linen and. And the patio even had matching cushions and everything. It was like, now I'm not a decorator. <laughs> Susie is, but I'm not a decorator. I mean, I'm just, whatever is there is there. I just, uh, I never learned the knack. I never learned the knack. Now I clean house, I can do that. But decorating, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. But I could host a good coffee break kind of thing, group people come over. I would love that. Just them to come over every morning, you know, 9 o'clock, just like you guys do. Come to visit me so I can rattle, rattle, rattle. And that's what I'm doing this morning is rattling. Yeah, the video I did yesterday was about the little kitty cats I was working on. You know, you could play with those little kitty cats and just get them so gaudy if you want to. I was thinking about making, you know, I guess I said something about that, making little hats to put on them or something. And they're all different. You know, I didn't stay with uh, just one pattern for all the cats, although I think that's what most people do. But I made them like that. They were different, you know, like this one here. I just love this one. But it almost looks like a pan what is it, panda bear or something. I don't know. But uh, this tail probably isn't as long as I should have made it, but... You know, every one of them's different. So, you know, what could I say? They're little kitty cats out of, out of yarn. But there's a little X on his face. Now, that's what I was trying to do on those others, and I couldn't get the X because there wasn't enough. Uh, and the stitches were too far apart. Now, see how far the stitches are? If I had used a smaller needle and made it more compact, it would have been easier to Broadway. To Broadway. Embroidery. Broadway. Who knows that? And then here's the little eyes here. See, they're little. And you buy them in a case. But, uh. <laughs> but I think that embroidery eyes would have been pretty. But you just couldn't embroidery some cute eyes on this wide, um, stitches. You know, they're just too far apart. They didn't give you enough density to do your little embroidery. But anyway, I think he's so cute. I haven't put a, I was going to put a little blue here with a little bell, but then I don't know what I'm going to do to adorn him. But I have adorned quite a few of them, as you saw yesterday. But they're all different. You know, look at this one. He looks like, I think I'm scared. Or he's an owl. I don't an owl with a tail. Okay, so so it could be. Yeah. We don't care, do we? But I love these little colors. Aren't these pretty? Now, who would have thought these colors would go so cute together? And I was thinking, well, you know, that might be cute. You know, put him in a little square. It's granny square. And then just put little flowers around him like that. See? In his little square. He could be hiding behind the flowers. He's a little crooked here. That's okay. They're all a little crooked. But they're so simple. It's like you, you crochet a chain of 20. Then you come back on the chain with a single crochet or a double crochet. I think this one's a single crochet. And I just came back to where I was going to do the body, which is about 10 or 9 or 8 or whatever. And then the rest of it is just back and forth and back and forth and increasing and decreasing however you want him to look. And then just do the little, you know, four or five stitches for the ears. Cute, cute, cute. Just little simple little things. You can make a whole bunch of them. But I do recommend the smaller stitch if you're going to embroider any faces or anything on it. But anyway, I think they're, they're cute. If I can just pull it all together because... See, like this. Uh -huh. And then if I wanted to put what is it, the flowers here, you know, put a flower there. 
like this, like that. See, you know, he wouldn't, she wouldn't have to have a bow or anything. I thought about putting one on their heads, but I don't think there's quite, <laughs> or a little hat or something, but I don't know if I will. Maybe like this, a little hat. <laughs> or I could make a sunshine up here, a yellow sunshine, and have it behind them. Behind them. You know, there's all kinds of possibilities, but this is basically the way that, oh, you stuck on my finger. And I keep showing you, one of these days, it's going to be complete, and I don't know what I'll be talking about. It'd be just like this, a secret garden uh, uh, throw I worked on for, I don't know, six months. And every time I worked on it, I'd put another stitch in it, and then I'd do a video on it. And I tried to put all those videos together, but in between, there's a lot of talking. Oh, well, I'm going to get to my coffee. Remember, <laughs> you are special. You got up this morning, and thank God, wrinkles don't hurt. <laughs> Especially my wrinkles and my thinning hair, too. I didn't notice that till just now, but I guess that's just what happens. Isn't that right, Itsy? Huh? Oh, it's nice to have Itsy here. She's always doing something. You know, the puppies come in, and they lay down, take a nap. But she's constantly doing something. But she really wants out, but I don't want to. Anyway, and i got all my books over here to read. I've got Courtin' Can Be a Killer. It's an Amish matchmaker mystery by Amanda Flowers. And I've got The Tinder Box by Beverly Lewis. And Crow's Call by Wanda... Brissetta, I can never remember how to say her name. Oh, well, I could talk on forever because I've got so much on my mind. <laughs> I thought about maybe I could read books, on, you know, for audio, Audible and some other companies that, you know, they hire people just to read books and make audio books. And I thought maybe I could do that. I was thinking... I can hardly talk. I don't know if they could hear what I was reading to a book or not. And I thought, well, I might just give it a dry run and see. <laughs> but it's terrible because I'm reading a book and I'm laughing my head off. You can't do that. Because it's so, if it's funny, I'm going to laugh. I'll be out of character. I mean, immediately. Because it's funny. Okay. I, okay. Okay. I'm going to cut it off now. I, I have... <laughs> Thanks for all your comments. I I am reading them and trying to take care of things. Um, but I'm just not so good at everything. <laughs> but y'all stay with me. And I, just, I, I so admire y'all. <laughs> well, anyway. Remember, you are special. To many, many folks. And the people that love you. And the people that don't know you, if they don't know you, they should. Because you're so lovable. Well, I continue crocheting and having fun with life and make a little kitty. <laughs> make a little kitty. Oh, oh, I got to do some big projects, though. So. All right. Uh, remember, God has you in his hands. And pray for Mother Earth. I see you all. All right. Bye-bye from Visit Mima.